Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see how to draw an involute of a circle. The involute of a circle is the path traced out by a point on a straight line that rolls around the circle. So we are just going to trace the path of a circle when we unwound the thread or string. So condition is string length will be equal to circumference of the circle. A coil, the meaning of it is they will be giving a string length of some distance and circumference of the circle will be also having the same distance. In that case means we will be getting exactly bounding from that end point. So we will be seeing step by step. A coil is unwound from a drum of 40 mm diameter. So diameter of the circle is 40 mm. Draw the locus of the free end of the coil for unwinding through an angle 360 degree. So one complete revolution. Draw also the normal and tangent to a point 100 mm from the center of the circle. So first step is we will be having a circle radius of 20 mm. Since the diameter of the circle is 40 mm, circle radius will be 20 mm. Take 20 mm in your compass and uh, draw a circle like this. The next step is we just going to divide the circle into eight equal parts. So if you scalp, uh, if you use protractor means you will be taking an angle of 45 degree. You will be keeping your protractor at point C and you will be taking 45, 90, so on, and so on. The next step is we just going to uh, draw the circumference of the circle. So circumference of the circle is pi d. So pi into 40. So we will be having 125.67. So you will be drawing 12.6. So for 12.6 centimeter, you will be drawing a line or 125.67 mm, you will be drawing the circumference of the circle and we will be naming it as P. Next thing is, since we divided the circle into 8 parts, we are just going to divide the circumference also into 8 parts. So draw an inclined line for 30 degree and divide it into 8 equal parts and take an equal length of 10 mm, 10 mm, 10 mm, 10 mm, so on. And you will be dividing into 8 equal parts this line and next step is you will be just as we said earlier, uh, we are doing these things just to divide the circumference of the circle. This is the circumference of the circle. We are going to divide this line into eight equal parts. So the end point of the arc. So the end point will be connected to the end of the line. And like parallelly, we will be just joining, joining like this. We will be joining. All the lines will be parallel. And on the circumference of the circle, we will be getting eight equal parts. And we can name it as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, so on. And circle, we can name it as 1, 2, 3, so on. The next step is, you can keep your protractor at 5, 1. 5, 1 as your base. Okay. Or C, 1 as your base. And 1 as center, draw 90 degree. C, 2 as your base. 2 as center, draw your 90 degree uh, straight line to certain extent. Then C, 3 as your base. 3 as your center, draw your straight line to some distance. Then C4 as your base, 4 as center, draw a 90 degree perpendicular line. Then C5 as your base, 5 as center, draw a perpendicular line. C6 as your base and 6 as center, draw a perpendicular 90 degree line to some extent. C7 as your base, 7 as center, draw a 90 degree perpendicular line. And last, C8 as your base, if you draw a, a perpendicular line means it will be lying on the circumference of the circle. So no need to draw for 8th point. The next thing is, now you can take radius as 1 dash to P. Take your compass, keep your compass at 1 dash and take till P. So 1 dash to P as your radius, 1 as center, cut an arc. Then 2 dash to P as your radius, 2 as center, cut an arc. Then 3 dash to P as your radius, 3 as center, cut an arc. Then 4 dash to P as your radius, 4 as center, cut an arc. Then 5 dash to P as your radius, 5 as center, cut an arc. Then 6 dash to P as your P as your radius, 6 as center, cut an arc. Then 7 dash to P as your radius, 7 as center, you can cut an arc. And last point will be 8, so no need to do it. So we adjust the cut and arc with the help of radius and center. The next step is you can name it as P1. Since it's from point 1 right, so we can write as P1. If it's 2 means P2, if it's 3 means P3 and so on. And you can rub the extra lines, whatever lines which you are having extra means. 
above that arc you can uh, you can rub with your rubber so that it, the curve the diagram will be very neat next step is just to join all the points from p just try to join all the points p p1 p2 p3 so on till eighth point so that it will be it should look like a smooth curve so just join all the points with your hp pencil it the curve should be very smooth and it will be ending at the point a so this is the end point right this is the unwinding of the string since the string length is equal to the circumference of the circle so we will be having exactly from this point point a itself so it will be ending exactly at eight so you should draw the curve with your hp pencil and the curve should be very smooth for drawing tangent and normal, we have given 100 mm from the center of the circle. So this is the center of the circle. Take your compass and measure 100 mm from the center of the circle. Try to cut an arc to the uh, opening end of the curve. So this, this is the opening end of the curve. So from C, you can cut an arc here. And you can name it as M. Okay, you can name it as M. Now CM. So CM will be having certain distance. So 100 mm. So we need to bisect the CM. So how much ever the distance is CM, half of it you can take, so it will be 50 mm right. So at that you can keep a point and name it as O. Just bisect CM and just name it as O. Now take your compass and measure OM as your radius and O as center, try to draw a semicircle. OM as your radius, O as center, draw a semicircle. It will be ending here and it will be touching the circle at one point. And that point you have to name it as N. It will be touching the circle at one point. That point is called N. Now just to join this, the point which cuts the circle and the M point. So just join it and try to extend it. And this line is called as your normal and name it as N, N dash. See here, whichever points cut the circle, that point is called N. And you have to join this point and the M point where you cut the R right and try to extend it. This line is called your, this line is called as your normal and N, N dash is your normal. Now for drawing the tangent, it's very easy. Uh, N, N dash as your base and M as center, draw a 90 degree line, 90 degree line. So N, N dash as your base, M as center, keep your protector here and try to draw a 90 degree line and try to extend on both the sides. The tangent will be touching the curve only at one point. And this line is called tangent and you can name it as T, T dash. Dimensioning, we can dimension this circle. So circle diameter is 40. So from outside the diagram. So this is the extension line. The extension line should be away from the diagram. It should be, there should be one mm gap. And uh, the extension line should be drawn with two H pencil. Dimension line should be drawn with H pencil. And uh, 540 should be written in the middle vertical. And arrowhead should be sharp pointed, three is one ratio. So I have drawn in paint. So arrowheads won't be that much need. When you are drawing, try to follow, see to that both the arrows should look same. So this arrow and this arrow should be looking same. And we can dimension the circumference of the circle. So just draw an extension line away from the diagram like this and draw an extension line away from the diagram, leaving one among gap. And this line is called a dimension line and break that line and write the number 125.67. That is pi into d and write it as it is. And, uh, See to it that the arrowhead should be drawn with HP pencil and should darken very much. Uh, next step is, uh, you will be drawing this entire diagram in your A3 sheet and the height of the text, the heading should be 10 mm. You have to write inlet of circle and these are the subheading T, T dash, here T, T dash. Actually it's T, T dash is the tangent and N, N dash is the normal and uh, subheading should be 7 mm, height of the text should be 7 mm. All dimensions are in mm and scale one is to one should be written in the right bottom corner. The height of the text here is 5 mm. In case if you have any doubts means you can you can type in the comment section. Uh, once you complete the diagram, your diagram should be looking like this. Only your curve, curve should be very dark, tangent should be very dark and normal should be very dark. Only three, three things should be very dark in your diagram. And uh, dimension just have a look at this. Um, Thanks for watching this video and have a great day. And uh, do, do, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Mechanical Motivator. Then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload.